Philip Spook Review. Philip Spook Review. Hey guys! Today I'm going to review a pictorial history of horror movies. It's a book that came out in the 1970s and a lot of horror fans of a certain age, uh, old, got this book because there wasn't many books at the time you were in the 70s dealing with horror. So loads of horror fans got this book. Now I've got it as a, a young lad. The cover's uh, bashed and, and stuff now but that's the book. Brilliant cover. Even the back scored. So that's the cover. I'll put some photos up what it properly looks like. So I really enjoyed it. And I also remember at the same time that the, wish, the BBC was showing these horror double bills. So I often had two films on late on a Saturday night. And I used to look at the book if uh, one of the films was being shown and get hyped up. So I think a lot of fans did that at the time. These double bills were very popular. I'll actually do a series devoted to the horror double bills later. I'll do yeah. season by season. But anyway, this book came out about the same time. And it really hyped me up as a kid. There's some brilliant photos in it. So let's have a look at some of the photos. With this book it seemed to deal more with the silent films and the universal films. And there wasn't a great deal devoted to uh, like Hammer films. But it had some terrific photos in it. I always remember looking at this one. Dracula Day 1972 photo. Now, I, I was really excited about the films. This one's Count Yorga Vampire. That was a scary one with the hands sticking out of the grave. It had quite a lot um, devoted to Universal films. It got me really hyped up for the, the Frankenstein films. Some great um, photos. However, the writing isn't all that good. It's a bit chalky. There's less... Um, doesn't even hardly mention Hammer films only towards the end. As you can see there's some graphic photos but um, there's very little dealing with Hammer films and even at the end he, when he mentions Hammer he's not exactly very kind to them just saying he just says they're approaching Universal in quantity but not quality so he, he's not very um, doesn't have many kind words for Hammer films, but he, he loves Universal films and silent films. But anyway, as a kid, I, I, I loved this book. Quality of the papers, not brilliant. But um, at the time, that's all you got. Uh, these photos and everything. So I really enjoyed it as a kid. So you can still get copies of this book on eBay. But it is sort of like um, more for nostalgia reasons that I rate it highly. So for nostalgia, it, I'd give it like top marks, 10 out of 10. But as uh, a proper mark for a book, uh, I'd, I'd give it sort of like 6 or 7 out of 10. It's like brilliant cover, but the writing's not very good. It doesn't go into much detail, and like I say, it just it, it just focuses on Universal horror films, which there's nothing wrong with that. But um, he he doesn't exactly like Hammer films or anything else really, just uh, like the Universal stuff, which is a bit of a shame. It's Dennis Gifford Gifford who wrote it. So anyway. Hope you like that little look at that book. It was a really influential book at the time. So loads of fans got into horror films because of this book. You can still get the thriller book that I reviewed earlier. My first book review. 
that's a wonderful thick book brilliant writing and there's one of my friends is getting a book out soon so I'll be reviewing that after I read it it's David Williams Midnight Treasury yes! so you can get that on Amazon that'll be an excellent book that I'm looking forward to reviewing that so anyway <laughs> see you next time bye bye